All right, what's up, guys? We're here in my garage, and uh, today is a day that we're gonna go ahead and go to a Carvana site here in Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm gonna sell a car. I'm gonna share with you guys my whole experience, start to finish. All right, so basically how it worked was I went on their site, entered in my vehicle's information, VIN number and all, and uh, they went ahead and hooked me up a value. All right, once I got that trade-in value, uh, they sent me another email uh, because I you know, lollygagged around for a day or two and asked me any more time. I said, well, let me further explore this because the value was about $1,700 more than what the dealerships around here was offering me. And I figured there was going to be some sort of a catch. So I went ahead and went a little further into it, and they asked for copies of my driver's license. I sent them a picture of my driver's license, a picture of my car registration, and a picture of the mileage on the dash with the car running. Those are the things I asked for, along with a payoff uh, letter from the bank. So I sent them all those documents in, and it took them a day or two to uh, get back with me. Uh, actually, on my you know, registration, the little spot where they put the, uh, the date when I renewed my tag was blocking the VIN number. So I had to retake that and send it back to them. But anyway, uh, I got the documentation to them and they went ahead and hooked me up with a date, uh, and to go to Birmingham and give them my car. And they said that there will be a short assessment. And it, uh, I also had, I'm sorry, I owed a little bit more than what they offered me. Uh, so I had to show, send them a picture front and back of a bank check for the difference to prove that I had the money to pay the difference on the loan. All right, so once I got those things done uh, on the car here for the loan, they set me up a date and a time, and I had a death in the family recently, so I had to wait until uh, today is Sunday, uh, February the 4th, <coughs> excuse me, to go up to Birmingham and let them see the car. Uh, it says that the only thing that they will have to reappraise the car for is if it has more than a thousand miles in which I've got less than a hundred more miles than what I took the picture of now. So uh, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I have taken the intake off the car and uh, I've also taken the uh, arrow turn signals off the car and I'll be selling those. Uh, of course, the upper grill delete here is gonna have to stay and you know the car is just going to be as it sits here i've got a uh, 6600 miles on the car uh so and what they offered me on the car was 31.5 so still a little bit low in my opinion but uh it's better than what you know most dealerships around here is offering for whatever reason i mean this was a uh, over forty two thousand dollar car not even seven months ago so it just this damn thing depreciated like a kia so we're about to get ready and we're gonna drive out to Carvana, and I believe it's Fairfield, and see what they say. I'm really, I hope they don't do any any weird stuff. Uh, I'm optimistic because they had me take a picture of that uh, bank check. So I think it's either gonna be they're gonna accept it or they're not gonna accept it. Which I don't. I've seen other cars on their site, uh, and as everybody that watches my channel knows, I've got a little ding here from a rock. And I did fix it with some touch-up paint. So I'm a little concerned about that, but they have plenty of vehicles that they take pictures and they got rock chips all over the car uh, and they point them out and take pictures of it. Uh, and they still wanting uh, a pretty penny for these cars. It doesn't seem like they're taking any money off of this stuff. So uh, something that small, uh, the rest of the car is, is mechanically sound. It's had its oil changes. So there's nothing wrong with the car. So hopefully that all goes well. All right, guys, what's up? We're on our way to the Carvana location in Fairfield. I just want to talk a little bit just for a second about a couple of things that I'm a little concerned about. I've taken my 2016 Mustang to a CarMax location for uh, them to buy my vehicle. And I had a MBRP exhaust system on that car and a, uh, a JLT intake at the time, which I, I told them I wanted to take the intake off. Uh, but they told me basically that they could not buy the car for any kind of a price other than wholesale if it had any aftermarket stuff if it had any modifications if it wasn't completely stock uh, I think they offered me like twenty six thousand dollars for the car uh, and it had about fifty five hundred miles on it and it was a new 2016 GT premium all the options on it uh, 
similar to this one, except this one's got 401A. So I'm concerned that with the GT500 exhaust that is on the car, that they may have something to say about that uh, and the grill delete, because that's the only two things on the car. Everything else is, is pretty much stock. Uh, also, I have been saying that this is a almost 42 or almost $43,000 car, and I was a little wrong on that because I pulled my window sticker out and it's a $44,370 car for the window sticker. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a shot of that real quick. Yeah, so here's the window sticker on the car. And as you can see, that was the MSRP. And y'all can pause it or do whatever you like to kind of get the information off of, but yeah. And I'm struggling to get, you know, 31, 32,000 out of this thing now, not even eight months old. That is some, that's a good looking exhaust. <laughs> All right, so those are uh, a couple of things that I'm concerned about on my way down here. It's gonna take us about 40 minutes to get to this place. Uh, and apparently they have these drop centers all over the place for Carvana and you would go pick up your own car if you're close enough to it or pay them a fee to have them deliver it. Uh, contrary to what it says on TV, they act like they just deliver them all for free. So, uh, got my wife uh, in tow behind me in her car. Uh, so if everything goes well, I'll be returning to the house in her car. So we're gonna find out. I don't think I've ever seen a tie wrap a plastic tie strap holding on your exhaust. Shit, dude. All right, so update on where we're at. Carvana gave me the wrong address and we were about 20 minutes away from where we needed to be. So now I've got the right address, uh, called and talked to the woman and we're going to where we need to go. All right, so we're here at the uh, Carvana location in Birmingham. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reset this bad boy. Get my home address and all that stuff out of there. I'm just reset it to factory defaults. I'm gonna go inside and let's we'll see what they got to say. Here at the uh, Carvana location, it's actually a, a really nice location here and it couldn't have been simpler. We uh, just signed the paperwork to sell the vehicle. It was nice and smooth. Uh, they took the check for the difference in the amount that I owed. She went out and looked over the vehicle. She's gonna crank it up and uh, get an accurate, you know, mileage off of it right now to write down and we're gonna be good to go. It's a pretty nice building. About to get in the car and drive to the house. She sold smooth transaction. Uh, I'm really surprised. So if you want to sell your car and you like the offer that Carvana gives you, I would recommend go ahead and go through with it. Seems like a pretty legit deal. If anything else comes up, I'll make a, a follow-up video if anything else happens, but I think everything's gonna work out great. Goose. Well, that's the end. They didn't ask anything about the uh the muffler they didn't even, they didn't ask me really anything other than did it have more than a thousand miles on it from when i took the picture of the mileage on the dash so i guess the car was just too new so we're about to uh be back at the house now it's the end of this video thank you guys for watching uh more videos will be to come i got a lot of friends that got mustangs and stuff and things are going to get done so me and the sidekick here will be doing all kind of stuff thanks for watching